The last Corolla I drove was a sporty little number known as the XRS. For 07, that model has been discontinued, so if you want a Corolla with a little edge to it, this is your only choice, the Corolla S. Nothing mechanical going on here, the Corolla S is dressed up in athletic attire including smoked headlight lens extenders, front fog lamps, and an aero kit with front and rear underbody spoilers, rocker panel extensions, and rear mud guards. Let's just say it's not going to be wooing import performance shoppers, but it's a restrained look for the Corolla's female buyers. This car is an excellent choice for those of you looking for no-nonsense transportation with quality engineering from a reliable company. The one downside is that this generation of the Corolla has been around the block, so it's far from fresh feeling. Pit it against the new Civic sedan and you'll see what I'm talking about. A favorite among women and educators, the Corolla is sensible without being completely boring. The S trim with automatic with an MSRP of 16670 including destination gives the Corolla buyer a little extra spice. All models get the same engine though. It's a 1.8 liter four cylinder making 126 horsepower. With the optional four speed automatic, the Corolla will trudge to 60 miles per hour in just over nine seconds. But from the driver's seat, the Corolla feels relatively lively, especially considering its likely purchasers. Ride quality is also tuned for softness and occupant comfort and does a fine job at both. Safety is also big on the Corolla buyer's list, but you'll have to pay extra on the S trim for things like ABS, stability and traction control, and side and curtain airbags. With a decently sized rear seat and large for its class trunk, the Corolla can feel like a small midsize as opposed to a compact. As seen here with numerous options, my tester comes in at 18794 Though no longer possessing that just out of the oven feeling, the Corolla S and its 30 MPG city and 38 MPG highway rating will continue to be a solid, popular choice amongst consumers not known for risk taking. For Drive Time on Car TV, I'm Steve Hammes.